Bismillah walhamdulillah wa salatu salama ala rasulillah amma ba'd Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Qala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fi kalami al-majid ba'da na'udhu billahi minash shaytan al-rajim bismillah ar-rahman ar-rahim Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu jtanibu kathiran min al-dhan inna ba'da al-dhanni ithm wa la tajassasu wa la yaghtab ba'dukum ba'da ayuhibbu ahadukum an ya'kula lahma aghihi maytan fakarihtumu inna Allah tawabu ar-rahim in this verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when we translate the verse, it may seem that these things are unrelated. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first says, Ya ayyuhaladheena amanu jtanibu kathira min al O you who believe, avoid suspic- suspicions, doubts. Inna ba'd al-dhanni ithm. Indeed, some suspicion leads to sin. Wala tajassasu. And do not spy. Wala yaghtab ba'dukum ba'da. And let not one backbite the other. So no backbiting. If we look at the verse, we'll see that all of it is correlated. It starts off with suspicion. Avoid suspicions. Think good about one another. We see somebody in a certain place and all of a sudden we have these assumptions. We start thinking, oh, this person is here because of X, Y, and Z reason. Why is this person here? Right? Uh, We see somebody outside the masjid at salah time and Jum'ah has already been done now naturally a person may think or this we see that person walking in towards the masjid as Jum'ah is over now one may think well Jum'ah is over and this person missed salah they've missed Jum'ah salah it is possible that they could have prayed Jum'ah in a different in a different masjid or it is possible that they already prayed Jum'ah, they went outside to grab something and they're coming back inside the masjid. So there are so many different things that we can think of. But naturally, we're, we think negatively, which is something that Islam teaches us to abstain from. Because when we think negatively, what happens? That will lead to sin. We start thinking negatively about that person and we may start talking bad about that person. We start following and trying to figure out what this person is up to and to pry into that person's life and gossip. And then eventually it leads to backbiting. We start talking bad about that individual. Start saying that, oh, I saw this person leaving the masjid when Jum'ah, it was time for Jum'ah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He tells us to abstain from that because these are societal ills. This leads to a discord amongst the community. And that's what we see today commonly. That the Muslims in the community were always talking about one another. We're always talking about how this person said this and she said that. And did you see this person over here? And we're just caught up in gossip. When Islam teaches us to keep to ourselves. When it comes to our personal lives, we should, we should keep our personal lives to ourselves and we shouldn't pry into the lives of others. We shouldn't assume that, oh, this person is doing this or this person is doing that. We should always try and think positively about the other person. Always try to make sure that whatever possibility there is, it can be something positive. One of my teachers, he told me that his ustad told him, when you wake up in the morning for tahajjud salah, when you wake up in the morning for tahajjud salah, let's say it's you know an hour or two before fajr, and you get up and you see that the other people in your room are still sleeping. Don't think to yourself, oh, alhamdulillah, at least I woke up for tahajjud salah. And these people in my room did not wake up for tahajjud salah. I woke up late and they already prayed their tahajjud salah. And I am the one who woke up late. So think positively about others and that's how we should be. Think positively about our Muslim brothers and sisters. Think positively about the people around us. We should always try and have a positive mindset because that is what Islam teaches us. And when we have a positive outlook on life, then that positivity, it will come back towards us as well, inshaAllah. So we ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He gives us a positive mindset and that we do not have suspicions about others. We do not pry into other people's lives and we do not talk about other people's lives. Whether those things are true or whether they are not true, we avoid all of that. Because indeed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He does not like that. Jazakumullah khairan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.